After the FDA authorized 10 at-home coronavirus tests, I wanted to know if they really worked. So I hopped on my computer, answered a few questions, and ordered three of them. They arrived two days later. I didn't want to test them on myself because I knew I was already negative. So I enlisted the help from three strangers. Kim, Ed, and Teresa, all tested positive for COVID-19, all agreed to take at-home tests, which we hand-delivered. Then we asked them to record themselves. Just like taking a little bit of a Q-tip up your nose. While Teresa reads the instructions for the Empower DX nose swab, Ed spits into a tube for the Vitagene saliva test. What are you doing? And Kim sticks a swab into her nose for the Everly Well test. Generally, it was pretty simple. Okay. It was, you know, it, the little Q-tip breaks off and the, the end of it falls in. 15 minutes later, they package them up and leave them on their porches where we pick them up and bring them to shipping carriers to be sent to labs around the country. What I kind of liked about these tests was that they were being done in CLIA certified labs. That's Metro Health's Dr. Ann Avery, weighing in on the accuracy and convenience of at-home tests. What I didn't like about it is the, you know, it's going to be five to seven days before a person gets results from the moment they think about wanting to be tested. She's right. When most people hear the term at-home test, they may think they're going to get results that day. And that is certainly not the case here. From the day I ordered these tests to the day I got the results, it took about one week. Although it's an in-home test, it's really an in-home collection. As far as accuracy, these are the more reliable PCR tests. And all three came back positive. I'm glad to hear it. It came with the same results. As far as cost, each test ranged from $100 to $150. So are they worth it? You know, you've got to look at your own personal risk and decide, is that sufficient? If you're symptomatic, Dr. Avery recommends calling a doctor and getting an in-person test. But if you're not symptomatic and you're just wanting peace of mind before you see grandma for Christmas, she says there's nothing wrong with these at-home tests. I also want to stress not to buy the first or cheapest test that you see on Google. You want to make sure you buy one of the 10 that have been authorized by the FDA. I have them all listed on our website. That's WKYC.com. Rachel Polanski. 3 News.